Hello and welcome to this Board Game Aids video on 10 rules you might have missed for the 2012 Kenish Builders Yara's Village. Village is a great Eurostar game which players play out the lives of a family over successive generations, trying to get their family members remembered for all time in the Book of Record, rather than being thrown in an unmarked grave. Hiding in this village however are some easy to miss rules which may just trip you up. So let's take a look at the top 10 rules you might have missed in Village. One area of the rules that often causes confusion is the way that coins are used in the game. Firstly, one coin can be used as a substitute for any one cube. For example, if I wanted to go travelling here, but only have one of the two pink cubes required, no problem, I can use a coin to substitute the second pink cube. Secondly, coins can be used on the fourth space of the council house. Paying one coin here will earn me three victory points. Finally, don't forget that at the end of the game, each coin you have in your possession will earn you one victory point, so keep an eye on your coins at the end of the game, as they could help you win. Throughout the game, players have the option to enter the church, and in doing so, place one of their family members in the church bag to be hopefully drawn out later at Mass. What is interesting is that the contents of the Mass bag are open information, and players are allowed to know the exact contents before deciding whether to pay an indulgence to have their family member drawn during Mass. One tip is to play with the four monks, and any added family members, on top of the bag until Mass, at which point you can then add them all to the bag together to be drawn out. Be careful how you seed the ball with cubes each round. After placing all the cubes on the board as per the appropriate player aid, you should have a number of cubes still remaining in the bag. This is normal. Do not take these cubes out of the bag, but leave them there for the next round, as they will be mixed with the cubes that you add, as per the card again, at the beginning of the next round. Also make sure that between each round, you re-add all six play cubes back to the bag. The Council Chamber provides some of the best actions in the game, including becoming first player, taking two resource cubes of your choice, taking one goods token of your choice, or simply paying one coin to get three much needed victory points. What is often misplayed however is that a player in one of these spaces may choose to either use that space or any of the preceding lower spaces in the Council Chamber. Here for example the yellow player if they took a cube for this action could either choose to take two resource cubes or to take the first player marker if it's available. Also note that you do not have to pay anything to use a space if you're already there. So again in this example, both the take two cubes action and take the first player marker action would be free to the yellow player. Not all action spaces in the game require you to place a work on that space in order to use the action. For example, all the trade actions do require you to place a worker on that space in order to use that particular action. However, the grain harvest and the family actions don't require you to place a worker there in order to take those actions. One quick way to check is to look closely at that particular space. If you see a ghostly outline of a worker, that means a worker needs to be placed there in order to take that particular action. Note that the grain harvest and family spaces do not contain this outline. When taking the grain harvest action, remember that to do so you need to have a family member on your farmyard. If you don't have a family member here, you can't take this particular action. Also remember that if you own a plough and a horse, you'll earn three bags of grain instead of the usual two. Similarly, if you own a plough and an ox, you'll get a massive four bags of grain instead of the measly two. When death arrives in Village, make sure that you go out with style. The rules state that villager that dies must be visible. This means we could choose any of the villagers on the board, and also any villagers on our farmyard. But remember that we can't choose villagers that are in the bag, as these are no longer visible. The well is an incredibly useful action space. By paying three cubes of the same colour, a player may choose to take any of the actions on the board. Make sure you remember this includes the marketplace action. This means in fact there can be two market days within the same round. The 
family action space has an often forgotten action. Instead of choosing to gain a new family member, I can instead choose to take back an existing family member onto my farmyard. This is an incredibly useful action and mastering this action is key to getting some of the highest scores in Village. Remember that although you have to take a cube on each of your turns, you don't have to take the associated action for that cube. For example, here I could take the green cube, but choose not to take the travel action. The only exception to this is the market action. The market action always takes place when someone takes that particular cube. This concludes our video, 10 rules you might have missed with Village. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe, or check out the other videos under the Board Game Aids channel. I hope you enjoyed this video, until next time, play carefully.